Hey guys, it's worth preparing for your exams. It is time to pick your A-levels and you should be thinking about facilitating subjects. If you haven't seen it already, Eve Bennett has made a fantastic video for this channel giving you her advice on how to pick A-levels and I am doing loads and loads of other videos to help you pick as well. Because this is an incredibly stressful time for you. Not only are you supposed to be revising for your exams, but you have big, big decisions that need to be made. These decisions are going to impact your future. Now, facilitating subjects are hard subjects sorry there is no way of getting around this one we're talking about science subjects so biology chemistry physics maths and further maths english literature not english language english literature geography history and languages modern or classical now the reason these are called facilitating subjects is because they are hard subjects that the universities respect and universities know that not every school offers every single a level so for example very few schools offer a-level law or a-level economics and even a-level physics is becoming very very rare but if you want to go and do these things at university school, universities know that you might not have had the chance to do them at a-level so what they're looking for are students that can work hard and do hard subjects so that's why they came up with this list of facilitating subjects so if you want to go and do um architecture or law or uh, i don't know archaeology at university and you can't do an a level in it you need to be thinking about picking at least two of these facilitating subjects that way the university kind of like knows that you can work hard knows you can deal with a lot of work knows you've got good problem solving skills or essay writing skills or things that they are looking for on their course these are really really respected and even if you're not sure what you want to do picking two of these subjects will really really broaden your horizons in the future because universities like them now you need to be careful with your exact choices, for example physics and English literature isn't necessarily going to lead on to a medicine degree because why, why, why are you doing English literature, why aren't you doing maths and chemistry at the same time? So you do need to be a little bit careful but two of these subjects will be really really good for you but like I said they are hard subjects so you've got to be prepared for that. Okay guys, um, good luck. If there's anything I can do to help you, if you need any more advice, just ask. 